In news just uh, coming in, the Tamil Nadu Special Investigation Branch has arrested all those detained crew members of uh, the MV Seaman Guard. Uh, let's just uh, go across to our defense editor, Nitin Gokhale, for more. Uh, Nitin, uh, what are the details? Well, the details are that uh, this uh, entire crew and uh, the armed guards on board uh, this ship, which uh, flies the Sierra Leone uh, flag, uh, were being interrogated and uh, were being questioned by uh, a combined team of the Tamil Nadu police and uh, others, intelligence agencies, Navy, Coast Guard. And finally, the Tamil Nadu police has now gone and arrested them on uh, specific charges of violating several Indian laws, including the Arms Act, uh, the uh, Maritime Zone of India Act uh, 1976, also illegally uh, procuring diesel uh, for the ship. So several acts have been violated. They also did not have permission for uh, arms, carrying arms, or not ha had not kept any record uh, of uh, the arms being on board. So all these um, uh, issues are now uh, have come to the fore, and they have been arrested. Uh, specifically, they will be charged and maybe produced in the court as uh, the case progresses. Uh, this has been an intriguing case in a way uh, that uh, why, what was the ship doing in Indian waters? Why was it carrying so many uh, rifles and uh, 4,000 ammunition of rounds, uh, 4,000 rounds of ammunition actually, uh, and nearly 40 rifles of various kinds? That is the question that is being asked, uh, and they had no satisfactory answer. And therefore, they have now been arrested. Bye. All right, Anitin, thanks very much uh, for joining us there uh, with all those details. Uh, Sneha also uh, joining us uh, for more. Uh, uh, Sneha, so several, several uh, rules really broken in that case. Uh, can you repeat what you said right now? I just can't hear you suddenly. Sneha, I was just saying that several laws are broken there uh, by those uh, crew members, uh, forcing authorities now to arrest them. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, the Q, uh, Q branch, which is a special investigation agency of Tamil Nadu uh, CBCID police, had reached there uh, two days back and they had begun the investigations. They had taken charge of this entire case. They are uh, the people who are doing the investigations right now, but it's a multi-agency investigation which is going on, and they saw several laws uh, which had been broken, which is which also includes the Arms Act, which was violated. Uh, they had almost 31 sniper rifles, four pistols, and 4,000 rounds of uh, ammunition with them, which was completely undeclared, which is um, uh, which they uh, uh, they have to declare it before they enter the Indian waters. So that was one of the primary violations which they did, apart from um, uh, illegally taking fuel from the fishermen, which the captain of the ship said, uh, called as Indian agents, that also brings out another uh, threat to um, the, the national security. So this is being seen as a breach of national security. Now what is going to happen next is they're going to be presented to the court uh, today and um, it will be taken forward from down. Right now they are in the police station. All 35 crew members on board MBC Men Guard have, be, uh, have been uh, taken into custody. Um, they were charge sheeted last week itself. They were given 24 hours before they were, there was an FIR filed against them. Uh, they had asked for only one hour to give all the valid documents, but it was almost 20, uh, all these days, and they were not able to present any of the documents to show their validity. We need to tell our viewers that uh, even if they have a valid license to operate in international waters, if they enter the in, uh, exclusive economic zone or Indian territory for that matter, uh, territorial waters for that matter, they need Indian, gov uh, Indian government's permit, which they do not have. Uh, uh, because of the, the, because of which they were not able to show any documents, they did not declare their weapons. Therefore, this is the primary ground on which they have been uh, arrested. All right, uh, Sneha, thanks very much for joining us. And uh, in fact, uh, just to tell our viewers, uh, the pictures that you're now seeing on your screens are uh, pictures of uh, uh, the entire crew of the MV Seaman being uh, arrested. Remember, they've, uh, as uh, uh, Nitin and Sneha were, were telling us, the arms, they violated the Arms Act. Uh, and in fact, even their armed guards uh, did not have licenses uh, for uh, the weapons that they were carrying. Now, when their ship actually did leave Kochi 45 days ago, there were no arms on board. And in that sense, it's a very, very intriguing uh, case. And and in fact, the next time ship, the ship entered Indian waters, uh, uh, what happened was that arms and ammunition were found on board. Of course, now all crew members of the MV Seaman Guard now have been arrested.